Hi everybody, Captain Bill Shade the third coming to you from the back deck of the Rod and Reel Jr. Working in Black River Bay today here in the last week of May. Memorial Day as a matter of fact. Really dark tea stain colored water. Overcast sky conditions here you can see. Just a slight chop on the water. Perfect walleye fishing conditions. Today's tip is taking a lesson out of the old musky fisherman's book. When you've got dark days, fish dark baits because those silhouettes are critical for walleye success. And one thing that we know is a walleye's propensity to hit purple. Walleyes everywhere across the country love the color purple. So matching that up in a bomber long A pattern today with purple and black is a superior way to go when fishing for these eyes because as they're suspended and our MO today, 35 to 45 feet of water, you can see the fish suspended down around 14 to 15 feet. So we're running these baits at 10 or 12 feet right over the top of them. Walleye's eyes located in the top of the head. They're gonna feed down up to strike a bait. So running a black bait, anything above those fish in the water column is gonna be bright. So using a dark silhouetted bait against that light upper region in the water column is gonna provide the kind of profile that's easily huntable, easy for a walleye to track on the strike. Now on the rod right now, <clears throat> my good friend, Wendy Hess from Virginville, Pennsylvania. How's he feeling, my dear? Tougher. Tougher. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. She's the walleye queen. You've seen her before on our YouTube video. She's back, locked in mortal combat with a giant eye here and doing battle in Black River Bay. He is so far out on the surface of the water that we're going to come back to you in the video in just a minute. At the wheel on the Rod and Reel Jr., doubling up in the captain's department today is my good friend, Captain Jeremy Reed. We call him the mouse here. He's bumping it in and out of gear, dropping those weights down on the uh, weight rods, getting into a little deeper zone, sometimes moving it in and out of neutral. It's just exactly what you've got to do to get those big fish to bite. Not surprised that a weight rod hasn't gone here in addition while we've been working this fish. Now what Wendy's doing, step to the right just a little bit, right into that corner. What she's doing is she's maintaining steady, even pressure on this fish. The key to getting big walleyes in the nylon is not changing the pressure on the fish. You hypnotize them neutral, you hypnotize them into moving towards the boat, and once they start coming towards the boat, if you don't change that pressure, you generally won't have much of an issue. Now, this is not a big eye, it is a gigantic, and I mean gigantic northern pike, huge. He's got this fish right, he's got this bait right in his maw, easy, and he picked up another bait, neutral mouse, keep him coming. Easy, keep them coming. Big, gigantic fish. Huge northern pike. Keep coming, keep coming, Wendy, keep coming. Raise your rod back up. Got a mouse forward. Wait till you see the size of this northern pike. Probably the biggest northern pike to come in in the fleet this year. Wendy, I'm telling you what. You can stop whining now. <laughs> You are going to be excited when you see the size of this fish. He is an absolute stud. Wow. Look at the size of that northern pike. If he doesn't go, if he doesn't go 16 pounds, he doesn't go an ounce. Yeah, there is the black purple. Look at the size of that giant gator. Probably the biggest gator to come into the safe charter fleet. Give me the knuckles, will ya? Huh? What do you got anything to say to Todd Wagner? You should be here, buddy. You should be here. That's right, that's the way it's working with the safe charter fleet in Black River Bay here at the end of May.